happening. My name is Sarah Mbue. I'm going to be doing uh, the uh, Whiskey 6 Claymore Mine Lane, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk myself through the steps as I'm performing uh, the lane. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and take the prone, and I'm going to go ahead and get my bandolier right here on my workspace. Uh, then my time will start. Three, two, one. So I'm gonna go ahead and reach in for my tester, which is my M57 initiator or clacker. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my tester M40 tester. I'm gonna go ahead and connect them both. Once they're connected, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on fire by depressing the right side, the springy side on my clacker and opening that up. And then I'm gonna couple with my free hand I'll put it right next to my face and depress the clacker. I'm gonna state, I see the light. At that point, I'm gonna put it back on safe. I'm gonna go ahead and keep them connected and I'm gonna put them back inside my bandolier. At which point, I'm gonna grab my spool and I'm gonna be searching for the connector side end, which will be this one with the dust cover on. I'm gonna take about a meter and I'm going to do my first tie down right here on my stake. I'm gonna try to put it all the way down to the ground because there's gonna be some tension on there and I don't want it to be uh, taking the stake with it whenever I put tension. So at that point, I'm gonna go ahead and back, go back to my, uh, to actually go ahead and put this under a sandbag, the spool. Once the sandbag is secured, I'm gonna reach in and grab my tester and my clacker that should be connected and it should be on safe. And I'm gonna also connect my firing wire to it. Now I'm gonna perform my second test out here. Uh, I'm gonna put it on fire. I'm gonna cup it creating a shadow right next to my eye and depressing it. I see the light. At that point, I'm gonna put it back on safe. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my wire, replace the cover. I'm gonna take off my set, my test set, and replace all covers. And that goes as well for my clacker. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in the bandolier. I'm gonna secure my firing wire, my spool, and I'm gonna ensure that whenever I'm walking down this lane, I have my bandolier always slung. I'm gonna go ahead and get up on my feet. And I'm gonna begin on spooling this all the way down the lane on my uh, munition side and placement site. As I'm moving, I want to ensure I'm facing the enemy and I am tactically moving with my knees bent. I'm going to get down here. I'm going to set this. I'm going to go on, on the prone. I'm going to set my spool right here in my workspace where I can see it. I'm going to take off my bandolier. And then I'm going to grab my ammunition and start in placing. I'm gonna go ahead and select about a meter offset from my anchor point right here. I'm gonna open up my legs, 45 degree angle, forwards and back before I'm placing it. One meter offset and making sure I am peaking, ensuring that the front towards enemy reading on the Munition is actually facing towards the enemy. At that point, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to dig this feet onto the ground. If that uh, didn't work and uh, there was too many, uh, too much gravel, too many stones, then I can go flat, uh, 180 degrees, completely flat on the legs and set my mind that way. At that time, I'm gonna get about six inches from my munition site and ensure that I can acquire 
the uh, possible avenue of approach where the enemy might be located uh, and aim and make adjustments. All right, at that point, I'm gonna go ahead and get my blasting cap out and I'm going to put it underneath a sandbag. I'm gonna go ahead and identify the side of my spool which is running all the way to that anchor point on my firing position. So it'll be this side of the spool. I'm going to unravel about a meter additional to that. And then I'm going to secure my line. I'm going to do a lark's head right here. Pull this through and I'm going to secure that to my stake, ensuring that is snug and all the way to the ground. Now I'll grab my blasting cup, which was underneath a sandbag. I'm gonna measure out a meter of slack in this fashion. I'm gonna go ahead and hold it with my left hand. With my right hand, I'm gonna keep it next to, uh, in, right in the center of my chest. With my right hand, I'm gonna go ahead and encircle it, allowing it to move up and down, side to side. And I'm gonna keep my right hand on my chest, but with my left, I'm gonna go ahead and lock it all the way out. And this is my meter mark right here on my right. This blasting cap is going directly back into my spool. Now on this one meter mark, I'm going to make an additional loop. I'm doing the lark's head one more time. And I'm gonna secure that to my stake. Ensuring that it's as slow as to the ground as possible and it's snug. Now I'm gonna go ahead and arm my munition. So I'm going to grab my blasting cap. I'm going to select the shipping plug that is closest to my stake. I'm going to decouple it. I'm going to go ahead and seat my blasting cap onto my shipping plug on the side that has the slit. Right on top of those threads. I'm going to pull, seat it correctly. And I'm going to go ahead and arm it. All right, since I touched my munition, I'm gonna go ahead and take aim again, six inches from the sight on my munition, and adjust as accordingly. All right, once this is all connected and my uh, claymore is armed, I'm going to find any foliage, and I'm going to camouflage my munition, and also I'm going to camouflage or hide my spool. At that point, I'll ensure that I have all the ventilator contents in here by just peeking out my workspace, ensuring that I have my ventilator slung. I'm gonna go ahead and get up, facing tactically towards the enemy, bending my knees. I'm gonna tactically move back while I am camouflaging my firing line. Once this is camouflage, I'll make it all the way back to my firing position. Right here, I'll take the prone and I'll conduct my third and final test. So I'm going to sling this. I'm gonna take my tester out. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my tester to my clacker. And then I'm gonna connect my wire to my tester. All right, I'm gonna put it on fire. I'm gonna go ahead and create a shadow right next to my eye so I can see the light bulb. I'm gonna depress it. I'm gonna say, I see the light. I see the light. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on safe. And I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my cable and I'm gonna replace the cover on the cable. And since I don't need my tester, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it and put it inside my bag. So nothing goes on the ground unless it's got a cover. Now I'm going to connect my wire directly to my clacker and I'm gonna set off my claymore. I'm gonna state claymore, claymore, and then I'm gonna put it on fire and I'm going to depress the clacker. And that will stop my time, and that is in placing a claymore. All right, so I will start uh, my uh, 
uh, recovery of my clear mind. It takes about uh, five minutes. It takes five minutes, and uh, my time will start right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and first thing, I'm gonna put it on safe. And then I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my firing cable and replace all covers on both the cable and my clacker. I'm gonna go ahead and put my clacker away inside the bandolier. I'm gonna go ahead and undo my cable. I'm going to then sling my bandolier and then start walking tactically to my munition site. And I'm checking for booby traps as I'm traveling down my lane and on my mine. I'll get right here on the prone on my munition site. I'm checking for booby traps. Now, um, the first thing I want to do is get my blasting cap secured. So I'm going to do my shipping plug uncouple my blasting cap and immediately grab my blasting cap and put it inside the slot in my spool. I will then invert my shipping plug to the seal position. Then I'll grab my mine, fold the legs and throw it inside my bag. I'm going to go ahead and undo my first knot, which at this point I want to get rid of this slack that is a one meter slack for my blasting cap. I'm gonna store that away. Now I'm gonna undo my second knot. And then I'm gonna check quickly on my workspace, ensuring nothing is falling out of my bag. And I have all my equipment with me. I'm gonna get on my feet, and at the same time, I'm moving backwards, facing the enemy. I'm spooling back. Now I want to do most of my spooling out here since once I get to my firing position, I'm going to get on the prone. And it's way faster to do it this way. I'm going to get in the prone right here and finish up my spool. I'm going to ensure that both ends are tucked in, including the connector side on the slide on the spool. And then I'm going to place my spool inside of my bandolier. And what's the, once uh, your spool is completely inside, you can go ahead and flap your bandolier shut and that will stop your time and that's recovery.